Just like that, guys, it is all said and done. She looks good. Y'all see it? Some slight. I'm just coming off like silly spice. What is going on guys? It is your boy Zeph from Cruise Customs back here for another video. Now today we are doing or starting the car. Baby Blue Jetta is going to be started today. We are going to get the progress done on getting this rebuilt and running. So today I actually got a package that came in in the mail. As you guys can see right here, as you guys can tell in last video, I told you guys about this install. I was hoping for it to come in that day, but it came in the next day, which is today, and we got it in. So now we are going to get this install started. So I gotta jack up the car, get the car lifted up, take the exhaust off, take the heat shield off, and then we can get the shift linkage out and replace it with a short shifter. So this is gonna be a long process. We gotta take the exhaust off, like I just said, take the heat shield off, take the shifter linkage out, and we gotta rebuild the shifter linkage. So we're gonna rebuild with this short shifter, I bought a little kit that's gonna replace all the little grommets and rubber pieces. And this one also comes with the little extra bits that I did not have. This should be a pretty straightforward process. It's just gonna be very time consuming. So I'm gonna to try to record as best as I can and make it as entertaining as possible. So guys, let's just lift up this car and get it started. Let's go. Before we start off the video, I just want to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor at Slam Shift Boots for sponsoring today's video. I appreciate you guys a lot. Thank you for being a part of this build and making it look amazing. You guys should definitely go check it out because they sell a variety of options when it comes to custom shift boots. Those shift boots are going to be 100% to your liking. You guys will see how mine came out in today's video. But regardless, go check them out. Links are going to be down below. Instagram tag right here. This is going to be what they sell. A variety of different types of shift boots to your liking for any vehicle, any make and model, it's gonna be custom. So any fabric type that you want, anything that you're going for, they will have and they will get it out to you as soon as possible. They come with a very great pricing and they're just all around a great product. So you guys should definitely go check them out. Again, thank you so much Slam Shift Boots for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into the regular programming. guys jack sands are now underneath the car car is lifted up so that makes everything a lot easier to get to a lot easier to move around and hopefully a lot easier to replace and install different parts that we got for this car so now that everything is up she's looking kind of smexy not gonna lie but as you guys can see under here jack stands right there jack stands down there and hopefully an install so let's get let's let's get up underneath the car i gotta clean the car underneath because there's a lot of spider webs so i gotta find something to pull all the spider webs and leaves and all that nasty crap out from underneath the car real quick clean that up and then we can start with replacing this short shifter into the car yeah let's clean the car up real quick and get into it as i just finished cleaning up the underbody of the car and when i was doing that with a bunch of spider webs i saw a bunch of baby spiders that kind of freaked me out so i nuked the car again and i actually put a line all the way around the car in bug spray so that hopefully everything dies if it tries to crawl out or if it crawls out yeah just dead so hopefully that's taken care of and i'm losing daylight today and i don't got enough time to fully pull off the exhaust with daylight so we're gonna transfer this video to tomorrow and start this again let's go the next day so guys it is now the next day and i just got done doing an oil change on the beetle she's running right now idling trying to get the oil ran through the motor a little bit so today it's time to start on the jetta get this exhaust off get the heat shield off and get the shifter out so that we can start replacing the components now i am so excited because today beetle is finally back up it's been down for the past couple days because i've been doing an oil pan gasket the oil pan gasket that i bought was a fell pro it was one of those corkscrew gaskets so it kind of split open when i tightened it down which was terrible because all it did was make a leak worse and then there was a leak coming from this little cap that goes on the back side of the crankshaft so oh it's sunny it's sunny but she's running She's nice. She sounds good. I put some Castrol oil because this is what they take. Castrol 5W40 maximum performance oil because that's the best kind of oil to put in these European vehicles. So that's what I did. But yeah, time to work on the Jetta. So I'm going to move this car real quick. Go get some coffee. I'll meet you guys here back at the house once I'm done and we can get started. Let's go. Guys, we made it back, got the coffee. Now it's time to clean up that mess right there. So let me do that real quick. 
All right, guys, now that that's done, it's time to start on the Jetta. Let's get that exhaust off. I don't know how I'm going to record this, but it's going to be four bolts at the top where it connects to the turbo manifold. And then it'll be a couple bolts underneath. I, I, I don't know. I got to get under there and check. But I'm going to try to record as best as I can show you guys the process of getting this exhaust off. Full straight pipe, so there's no unbolting certain sections of this exhaust because it's all welded together. So fingers crossed we can get it off in one piece and we don't have to cut anything. So, yeah, let's uh, get started. Let's go. I can't wear the hat underneath the car, but as you guys can see, full straight pipe all the way down, all the way down. Basically what I'm thinking when I look at this is I gotta take this whole support brace off right here to be able to loosen that up. I have to unbolt all the bolts at the top of the turbo manifold up there. And there should be some hangers all the way down there. Shoot, how am I gonna get that out? So we might actually, we'll see what I can do. We'll see what I can do because we might actually have to cut the exhaust. It's a little sad. Just a little bit. Regardless, we're going to try our best to get this out. I got to unbolt some O2 sensors that are welded right there and get that started. I don't know where I'm going to set you guys up to be honest with you to be able to record the process of this. We're going to try our best because I already know how the O2 sensors work. I got to unbolt that box there. Take those out. They come straight out. Or maybe I should just leave them and unbolt them while they're connected. I don't know, but I'll figure that out. Yeah, so we're just going to get started process doing something because I got to remove this heat shield, which is going to be the real fun part. So let's get started because I'm, I'm, I'm wasting my own time. Let's Guys, I was able to get the exhaust off. Look at my hands, but the exhaust won't come out. It's kind of just dangling right there right now. Probably gonna have to end up cutting it, which is unfortunate, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Guys, I'm real dirty right now. I, I We can get the heat shield off. So we're gonna get the heat shield off. The only restriction we're having is the heat shield because at the top of the motor, the actual plate that goes onto the turbo is hitting the heat shield. So we're gonna get the heat shield off real quick, take that off, and then maybe hopefully we can maneuver the exhaust out but I want to get it out in one piece. So in case I can sell it to someone, if you guys are interested, you guys can pick it up. Just comment down below. We'll see what happens or hit me up on social media. Probably your best option. Hit me up on social media. Everything will be down below. Let's hopefully get this heat shield off. It has those weird little circle screws that like go over. I don't know. You like push them up in and then you have to unscrew. It's retarded, but we're going to figure this out right now. Get that off and then try to maneuver this exhaust out. Cause this, that's going to be the pain is the exhaust. So now let's get back under there and uh, get this heat shield off. it's finally off it's off yes let's go now we can uh, unbolt that from the inside and pull it out actually we gotta bolt a couple bolts off of the transmission and then we'll be solid once that's done we're good we can start building the new shifter short shifter all that good stuff and get it all situated 
So let's head into that. Let's go. Guys, so there's just a couple 13 millimeter bolts. That one right there, that one, and that one. We take those out and we can pull it out. I also got to disconnect these shift linkages right here. All I got to do is disconnect that shift linkage and that one right there, those three bolts, and then we can disconnect the four bolts on the inside and that should remove the shifter. I'm actually going to try to figure out if I can use this or try to put a thread inside to make that ball work on the new shifter, but it's pretty straightforward. We're going to get this all out and then try to rebuild it. So let's get into that. All right, guys. So everything is disconnected now. Three bolts are out. The shift linkages are out as well. So now all we got to do is go on the inside and take the bolts off of the actual shifter. It should drop down. We should be able to pull it out. Let's get in there. So guys, it's going to be two 13 millimeter bolts right there. One 10 and another 10 right there. Okay guys, I might have been a little bit mistaken. There is these two bolts. They're actually bolted in from the bottom, I believe. So we're gonna get under there, disconnect it. Should be 13 mil bolts. And once that's done, we should be able to pull it down and out and get it all torn apart and ready for the short shifter. So let's get into the car and get it. Where is it? Oh, y'all can see it right there. See, there's bolts right, oh, not a view. It's right there, these two bolts. and she's coming out just like that she's out oh that was a pain all right let's get this out from underneath the car and start tearing it apart let's go all right guys if i haven't showed you already here is the short shifter that we're going to be installing it's wolfsburg tuning really nice good quality shifter got a reverse lockout on it as well as you guys can see this is the part bag that it came with has the adapter plate for the short shifter and the reverse lockout comes with a bunch of hardware I believe this is for the reverse lockout as well and we're also going to make this diesel geek product work too it's going to be all the replacement clips for this shifter because this is the old shifter i took everything out already i didn't record it because it's really easy to figure it out it's two bolts right here they're going to be allen keys and basically all you do is pull it up and out and everything is destroyed on it regardless so made it real simple you got the shifter linkage right in there it's real simple to figure out but we're going to be making these two things work what went bad was that little bracket piece right there that holds the shifter in have all the replacement parts in this this runs you about 80 to 90 dollars depending on where you get it from and this was only 80 bucks so all around this whole shifter kit you're looking at 160 170 with tack we're gonna put this all back in together parts that we're gonna reuse are gonna be this right here and i believe that's it this shifter right here is garbage as you guys can see i cut this down to make it a little bit shorter because if you guys know the volkswagen stick shift linkage shifters sick up a little bit higher and they look kind of weird so i wanted to make it look like a short shifter when it wasn't but garbage anyways we're going to be reusing this these bolts i believe we don't have to reuse this bracket can go away i'm going to figure out how to use that ball shift knob on this because I, I i like the look of it or if we can find a different shift knob because that's very plain that's very plain but we're gonna get to redoing this basically all we gotta do this clip right here is what we're gonna be worried about the most that goes down in there and fixes that so we can knock it in everything else we'll figure out where it goes but with that all said let's get this started all right guys i finally got that snap ring inside of there as you guys can see hold up uh, there's a lot of fingering going on here snap ring is in it's right um there uh, on the inside that was a pain that was such a pain it just took me like 30 minutes just to put that snap ring on i basically had to pry it open with these pliers right here and stick a bunch of copper washers in there just so i could be able to push it on very difficult but now we're on to the next step it is get that in there fun 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 so let's get that started and get this in let's go all right guys i didn't do too good recording this process but shifter's in shifter is of course in look at this guys reverse lockout functional everything looks nice and is working properly which is exactly what we needed to make this thing work so now all we got to do is put it back in the car and yeah get her all set up to be in the car working so we're gonna slide it back underneath this car. Main reason I'm not really recording this is because I have to use both hands to get things done and I can't really set the camera up right now. And a toddler could put this together. You literally take it apart and it goes on the same exact way you took it off. So, I mean, you guys can figure it out. It's a DIY, do it yourself. I mean, I'm do I'm just showing you the bake basics with a solid video, you know what I'm saying? So, don't get mad. 
I'm just doing what I do. You feel me? So we're going to throw this back in the car real quick and get it all set up. Let's go. Airbag. Okay. Well, this is going to be the OEM shifter right here. It's very dusty in this car right now because the window's been open for a couple months now. But yeah. Anyway, this is an OEM shifter. As you guys can see, it's very long, jumpy. So you got first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, and fifth gear. Uh, it's a, you can it's a noticeable change and it feels a lot longer than the short shifter I just installed which is a little bit crazy but as you guys can see right here first and then all the way down is second third fourth and fifth so that's very long compared to the short shifter that we just installed on the blue Jetta so this is a great upgrade it took a little bit of time. You have to take the exhaust off. You take the heat shield off. And it, it it's just a lot of work, time consuming. But once you get it done, you're very proud. And it works out really nice because it, it just looks good too. So, yeah, I just, yeah. Let's get out of here before I die of an asthma attack. But regardless, came out looking nice. So let's go take a look at that again real quick. Fill it out. Now that I feel the OEM shifter, let's check out the OEM Plus. Ugh. One, two, three, four, and five. Very noticeable difference, makes a great change. Now, I wanna put the interior back in now that the shifter is fixed. I gotta grab that bolt real quick, put it on this reverse lockout, and put the interior back because it's kinda ugly in here. So let's, let's get that done, let's go. We are seconds, or actually minutes away from finishing this shift knob install, shift, short shift, yes. So I couldn't find my OEM shift boot. So I actually stole this plastic trim piece out of the red Jetta. It's the same thing. This is exactly what I needed for the shift boot that we got from our sponsor, Slam Shift Boots. Appreciate you guys so much for sending that out. Now let's go and install it. So guys, these shift boots are custom made. If you guys want to check them out, they got a variety of different fabrics and different textures that you can make work for you. They're high quality. They're great. They feel amazing and they look awesome. So mainly with this, I told them I wanted a blue bandana because, you know, style of the car is blue. We got the blue bandana hanging here from one of our little shows that we did. Unique Car Audio gave me this bandana and ever since it's been sitting there. So we're gonna finish up the car with the bandana look on the interior. This right here actually has all the colors in the theme of the car. So it'll look very great when we put this on. So mainly all we gotta do is apply this bottom piece onto that plastic piece slip it in and make sure this cuffs something on here very 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 simple so very simple very straightforward i'm gonna go ahead and get this piece right here connected onto this plastic piece and we'll be able to install it let's go just like that guys it is all said and done she looks great she looks good see guys it was very very enticing you guys go get yourself one links will be down below or just look right here instagram shout out yes sir thank you sponsor for sending this out thank you slam shift boots i appreciate it it looks very good very well done so see it's very straightforward you plop it over all done zip tie it right here and that's it it it's a shift boot it's basically what a shift boot does regardless it looks good and i'm happy with it so hopefully you guys are too but this, this 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 looks amazing this this is great and i hope you guys did enjoy but don't forget to like share and subscribe because we do need that we do need you to go like down there below and subscribe as well so please go do that but it has been your boy zeph from cruise customs and i am out peace